This is it, what? Cohiba lit, what? We got that yak up in the cup and getting bent, what? Put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. This is it, what? That Chiba lit, what? You got some drink up in your cup and getting bent, what? So put some smoke in the air, this your shit, what? And raise your glasses if everything classic. You were tuned in to G5 Jeff TV. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button as you come on in. Big heavyweight fight went down Saturday. Daniel Dubois, Joe Joyce. Joe Joyce won by a 10th round stoppage. And everybody's talking about Daniel Dubois and him quitting. Um, he took a knee in the 10th round after taking a jab directly to the eye. And he took a knee and he took the 10 count. So you have two different sets of people. You have the one set that are highly criticizing Daniel Dubois for quitting. And then you have the other side that's like, yo, he had a broken eye socket and nerve damage to that eye. Him quitting, I understand it. I understand why he quit, period. Like those are the two sides of the fence. Now, how do I feel about it? Here's here's how I feel about it. I watched that fight, and um, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I didn't see a doctor check on uh, Dubois' eye one time. The referee didn't stop the fight. They had a doctor look at the eye, um, period. Um, I just didn't see it. Um, that's number one. Uh, number two... Um, the trainer, uh, you know, Daniel Dubois trainer, um, obviously felt like Daniel Dubois could continue because he let him go out and fight after round six, after round seven, after round eight, after round nine. So Daniel Dubois had a decision to make is either I'm going to gut this out and possibly win on the cards but my eye might be damaged to where i can't see for the rest of my life or i'm gonna take this knee quit and then live the fight another day so there's not a question of whether he quit or not like he quit the question should be him quitting was it a smart move like he fought rounds with a broken eye socket and nerve damage. You can't question that man's heart. And a lot of people that's questioning Daniel Dubois never took a smack in the face, let alone a punch. Like, we all understand that. So, Daniel Dubois has heart. But as a man that provides for his family, a man that, um, you know, wants to be a future champion, he had to make a decision. He had to make a decision, and he decided to live the fight another day. I I get it, like I I get it. I just can't I I can't muster up the 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 strength to actually criticize Daniel Dubois because he felt like he made the best decision for himself and for his family. Period. Period. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, well, people are making quitting acceptable, this, that, and the third. Listen, acceptable or not acceptable, like, you're on the couch with that opinion. Regardless, I'm on the couch, you're on the couch, everybody's on the couch talking about Dubois and him quitting and whether that's acceptable or not. At the end of the day, everybody that's commenting on it, including me, doesn't have a broken eye socket. We don't have nerve damage on top of the broken eye socket. We didn't take nine plus rounds of jabs from Joe Joyce. Obviously, Joe Joyce has power. Obviously, he's been putting guys down his whole career. And he's had close fights with some of the bigger names in the heavyweight division period in the amateurs. So Joe Joyce is nothing to be played with. He's not no light punching guy. Like, this ain't Paulie Malinaji we talking about here. You understand what I'm saying? None of us is in Daniel Dubois' shoes. So whether you think it's acceptable or not, Daniel Dubois had to make a decision 
on what he was going to do with his life and what he was going to do with his career. And at that moment, he felt like he could not continue and he wanted to basically save his career or possibly save his eye. Because you go through that, you don't know if you're going to be the same. Kell Brook went through the same thing. Fort Triple G, got his eye socket broke. Came back against Errol Spence, fought well until his eye socket got broke. And he never was the same after that. Period. That's a hundred percent facts. He was never the same after that. So Daniel Dubois has a lot to overcome inside of the ring and also outside of the ring. We don't know how much damage was done to that eye. We don't know if he's going to be able to continue his career. We don't know any of those things. We don't know any of those things. All I can really say is it's not up to me and it's not up to any of us to say whether the decision that Dubois made was acceptable or not. Bottom line is Daniel Dubois has to live for Daniel Dubois. Daniel Dubois has to live for his family. Daniel Dubois is the one with the broken eye socket, the nerve damage, and we don't know if Daniel Dubois is going to be able to see out of that eye or if that eye is ever going to be the same. So none of us is in that position. We can't criticize Daniel Dubois for making a decision that he made. Until we in the ring and we're under those same circumstances, it's easy for us to say that's not acceptable. And that's all I'm saying. But big shout out to Daniel Dubois. Thoughts and prayers go out to him and his family. I hope everything is okay with his eye. And forget his career. I just want for his eye to be as 100% or as close to 100% as possible. And as a boxing media guy, as a fan, as a boxing purist, I, I appreciate Daniel Dubois. I appreciate Joe Joyce. I appreciate every single boxer that steps in that ring and sacrifices uh, their life, their health, their well-being, um, basically for the sport of boxing. Um, I respect every single fighter, period. And I just hope Daniel Dubois gets well. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.